We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. The dynamic duo of Harris and Embiid at the four and the five. Curry and Green, the two and the three. And it's Simmons in at the point. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Now here's Beal. He's got 11, five on the clock. And it's Hachimura missing. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Harris, the shot is good. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Hachimura against Harris. Bryant outside. Pass to Beal. With the drive. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. Very hard to distract Bradley Beal on the way up. Just tremendous concentration through contact. Fader on the way. The bank shot, no good. And for the Wizards, they're shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Nifty move. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That's his first personal That one on Harris. Yeah, just terrific back. recognition by Beal. Saw the Shooting lane Washington. and drew the contact. Bradley Beal at the line for two. The first free throw is good. What I admire about Bradley Beal is his steady growth, not just in his overall game, but how he's embraced becoming a leader. He's someone his teammates really look up to. And Beal drops them both. Boy, Beal's rise continues to impress. Every season, Grant, he improves as a scorer, especially. And the older he gets, the more wisdom he attains. Both on and off the court, his guys expect him to lead the charge. It's something that he takes great pride in. Now here's Harris. He's got 10. Wide open, but he couldn't capitalize. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Pass to Avdia for the lead. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. When this game is done, they'll be off to New Orleans as they take on the Pelicans. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. It's all about getting ideal positioning. Once Embiid gets it, the D is toast. Washington with the ball. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. Dinwiddie against Simmons. Beal outside. Misses it off the right side of the rim. The 76ers have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. Inside. Here's Embiid. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Embiid's got four points this quarter. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. The screen on Simmons. Bryant left side. Hachimura with the ball. Pass to Beal. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Harris has got five rebounds in the game. Green in the post. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Harris passes to Green. Here's Embiid. It falls, and now he's 10 of 15 shooting. Nice work. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. Pass to Avdia. It's Beal on the wing. Bryant, a screen on Curry. 
Here's Bryant inside. Embiid's there. Some room here for Beal. Nails the wide open jumper. Beal's got 17. Well, the mid range always a solid option for Bradley Beal, and sometimes that's what the defense concedes. Now Simmons. Simmons is doubled. Curry finds Simmons. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. And showing off his IQ right there. Simmons keeps things simple in pick and rolls and takes what he sees. Simmons against Dinwiddie. Out to the wing. Achimura left side. Back to Dinwiddie. The Wizards need to get off a shot here from the high post. That doesn't go either for Beal. The 76ers have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. To the middle. Rebound by the Wizards. Inside. And he can't get that one. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Pass to Simmons. Here's Embiid. Outside Simmons. Screen by Embiid. Green for three. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got four rebounds now. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Then when he passes to Beal. Avdia from outside. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Wizard. Look back on last season for a moment. Here were your scoring leaders. Bradley Beal is second. The fourth spot held by Joel Embiid. Two premier scoring options that defenses really have to scramble to account for. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Beal. Here's Avdia. Beal with a screen on green. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. They'll pin that foul on Danny Green. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the 76ers? I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In the first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. First free throw is good. What I love about Denny Avdia is that there has never been a question about his confidence from day one. Came into the NBA with swagger. He knows he had a place in this league. Andre Drummond is checked in for the Sixers. Maxi comes in for Curry. Gafford, he's checked in for Washington. Bertans comes in for Achimura. Both good from the line that time. Well, when it comes to Avdia's mindset after he was drafted, that kind of attitude is crucial for a young player, right? It is, because someone who's not come up through the collegiate system, he's not a known factor entering the league. Avdia didn't have an outsider's mentality, though. He was on a mission to prove he belonged, and boy, it didn't take long. Man, good whistle there. Well, Grant, at this point in his career, I think it's safe to say Andre Drummond will go down as one of the game's premier rebounders. Yeah, you just don't call him a specialist because there's a lot more to Drummond's game than just rebounding. Rim protection, points in the paint. He does just about everything you want in a big man. When he's on the floor, he lightens the load on every other member of their front court. 
boy, one thing you can say about Andre Drummond, he is so steady. Statistically, it's the same story every year. Thibel, he's checked in for the Sixers. Milton comes in for Simmons. No good on the second free throw. Washington has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Beal against Milton. Pass to Avdia. Back to Beal. Kick by Bertans. Beal with it. Now guarded by Harris. Bertans for three. And it's Harris with the rebound. The Sixers leading. And he lobs it up top. Drummond with the bucket. Drummond's got seven points. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Dinwiddie outside. Picked by Bertans. The rebound by Maxi. The 76ers have gotten six of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Pass to Milton. Here's Maxi. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Milton against Beal. And that one drops for him. Beal's got eight here in this quarter. Well, Bradley Beal has become such a good playmaker. Finishing through contact, that is beautiful. Pass to Harris. Lays it up and banks it in. 12 points for him. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Dinwiddie outside. Driving inside. And that one drops. Spencer Dinwiddie. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Harris outside. To the inside. Drummond. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got four assists in the game. Boy, what a physical play from Andre Drummond. Shrugs off the contact and gets the bucket. Now here's Dinwiddie. Give him eight. Beal from outside. The rebound by Maxi. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Uses the glass on the layup. And it's a 10-point 76ers lead. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Milton against Beal. Over Milton. No good. A bit long that time. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Maxi. Can't hit that one. And Washington the other way now. Boy, a forgettable night for him, but thankfully his teammates have played well overall. Count that one. Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got 10 points in the game. That lack of defensive intensity is not going to stop a player of his caliber from scoring. Here's Maxi. Here's Drummond. And count it. Now five for seven. Defensively. They've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Now Dinwiddie. He's got 10. Here's Beal. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Beal's got 10 points here in the second half. Pass to Drummond. Here's Maxi. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal. The officials were right on top of that one. At the line for Philadelphia, Tyrese Maxey. Two shots.
And he makes a first. Korkmaz is checked in for Tobias Harris. Hachimura is checked in for Washington. Caldwell Pope comes in for Avdia. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. The Wizards shooting just about 33% since this second half started. Dinwiddie outside. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Beal. Milton with a steal. Here's Maxi. We've got 128 left in the third quarter here. Now Thibel. Clock at six. Milton finds Drummond. Here's Korkmaz. Three-pointer, no good. Korkmaz has gone two of five from the field here. Dinwiddie outside. Caldwell Pope with a drive. Milton with a steal. Drummond to screen on Beal. Milton with it. Gafford picks him up. Pass to Thibel. Thibel on the wing. Over Ashimura. Washington with a rebound. Here's Caldwell Pope. Back to Beal. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Dinwiddie. Free throw line jumper. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Here's Maxi. Outside Milton. Takes a three. Caldwell Pope pulls it in. Here's Dinwiddie. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good. Makes his selection just in time. Well done. Well, finishing quarter strong. Every coach preaches it. Nice work. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. Come on, man. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. The Sixers leading. And so in the game for Washington. Daniel Gafford is out there with Rui Achimura. Then there's Contavious Caldwell Pope. Then there's Kyle Kuzma. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point guard position. And it's Maxi missing. And for the Wizards, they're shooting just 42% so far in the game. Here's Dinwiddie. It's down. 
His ben seventh make in 13 attempts today. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. Philadelphia shooting the rock well at 46%. Pass to Simmons. Embiid a screen on Achimura. Here's Simmons. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Dinwiddie's got four rebounds in the game. About one minute played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Caldwell Pope. There's a screen. Back to Dinwiddie. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Outside, Green. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. And that comes off the assist by Green. Embiid's got 23 points. Yeah, a real versatile big man with multiple sweet spots out on the floor. Embiid is definitely on a roll. Dinwiddie with it. And it's blocked by Embiid. And here they come. Here's Maxi. Rebound Washington. Kuzma's got four rebounds in the game. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. Pass to Simmons. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Here's Korkmaz. Outside Simmons. That three off target. Had some space there after the pump fake for Washington. They've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Hachimura sets a screen. Back to Dinwiddie. Shoots over Maxi. That one is off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. Outside, Green. Drains the triple. Green's got his first three points of the game. Well, this is the go-to shot for Danny Green. So good in his pre-shot preparation and catch and shoot. Sixers with some changes. Tobias Harris checked in for Maxi, and it's Curry in for Corkmans. Harrell's checked in for Washington. Bertans comes in for Kuzma. Over the last break, I got a chance to hear what Washington's head coach said to the team. He told them he likes what he's seeing inside, saying, quote, stay on the attack. Getting to the rim is working for us right now. Attack until they stop us. Guys. Washington trailing. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Now here's Hachimura. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. 
Dinwiddie passes to Achimura. Over Green. And again, Washington, no good. The 76ers have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Outside Simmons. Back to Green. Pass to Embiid. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. He's so tough to stop. Even when you hit Embiid, he possesses the strength to muscle shots in. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Joel Embiid. At the line for one. Free throw drops for Embiid. One thing that seems undeniable, on the floor, off the floor, in social media, it doesn't matter. Embiid's presence moves extremely large. Here's Caldwell Pope. Back to Dinwiddie. Harold the screen. Back to Caldwell Pope. Thanks in the layup. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Pass to Curry. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Washington ball. So for the Wizards, Beal, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And Neto is subbed in for Dinwiddie. The Wizards have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Beal against Curry. Beal outside. Harrell the screen. And stolen by Simmons. Harris outside. Pass to Simmons. Back to Harris. Embiid with it. There's the steal. And the Wizards on the break. Harrell passes to Achimura. And Seth Curry is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Neto, Simmons defending. Shot clock at six. Pass to Bertans. 18 feet out. Rebound by the 76ers. Harris has got his seventh rebound here tonight to the paint. And Harris throws it down. And you can't let Harris get this close to the basket. When you do, this is what happens. Here's Neto, Simmons defending. Beal with a screen on Simmons. Back to Beal. From downtown, drops in the three. Beal's got 24 points. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Outside Simmons. Down low. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Harris. Harris has got his fifth assist in this one. Here's Neto. Simmons defending. Three-pointer. Beal. Pure from three-point range. Beal's got 16 points here in the second half. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. The kick out. Curry. Pass to Harris. On the wing. Green. Outside Curry. There's the three. And it's Harrell with a rebound. 
The Wizards have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Beal, the pass to Achimura. Curry against Beal. And the layup is good off the glass. Now just a four-point 76ers lead. Guys, these big nights are becoming commonplace for Bradley Beal. Every night you know he's going to give you great productivity. Curry finds Harris. Knocks down the long team. Harris has got five points now in the quarter. I'll tell you, he's been much better in the second half. He's taking smarter shots. He's looking more comfortable. And guess what? He's in a groove. Now here's Bertans. Here's Beal. And there's the drive. Boy, what I love about Bradley Beal is despite having one of the most gifted offensive games in the league, he never stops looking for improvement. This guy wants to up his game each and every season. Two shots. Free throw drops for Beal. They're doing some good work at the line this half. And the 76ers making a change here. Drummond's checked in. Gafford, he's checked in for Washington. Dinwiddie comes in for Neto. Both shots good from the strike. Philadelphia has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Philadelphia calls timeout. Pope's checked in for Washington. Contavious Caldwell Pope. side Simmons pass to Harris and he's going for the oop here stolen by Gafford Beal outside Gafford against Drummond Gafford passes to Beal it's hauled in by the Sixers Outside, green. Inside, here's Drummond. Gafford grabs the miss. The Wizards have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Simmons against Beal. 
Pass to Gafford. It's stolen by Drummond. Here we go. The Sixers on the break. Here's Simmons. Sinks it again. That's his seventh made field goal in 11 tries. Physical play from Simmons chasing down the offensive board, making sure his team converts on this trip. Now Beal. Wing shot on the way. The rebound by Simmons. Simmons has got his sixth rebound on the night. Washington with a rebound. Dinwiddie's got six rebounds here tonight. Hachimura outside. Here's the three. And Simmons grabs the board. Simmons has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to Harris. The kick out to Simmons. And here is Green. Just five to shoot. Here's Drummond. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Green's got six assists here tonight. Washington trailing. Two minutes remaining in the game. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Gets the three to fall. Beal's got 34. Well, this guy shoots it with such tremendous efficiency. Bradley Beal provides the most important thing in the NBA, and that's floor spacing. Embiid, he's checked in for the Sixers. Bryant, he's checked in for Washington. Bertans comes in for Achimura. One fifty-one left in the fourth. Fades back. The rebound by the Wizards. Beal's got six rebounds now in the game. To the inside. Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. You can see the level of attention Bradley Beal draws. This guy is so heady finding the open teammate. Curry, a screen on Dinwiddie. Unloads from 13. Washington with a rebound. A minute 15 left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Beal. Launches a three. And again, Washington with a triple. Such a clutch shooter. This guy lives for these kinds of moments and delivers. against Beal. Here's Embiid. Tries again. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the moment Embiid gets the ball anywhere near the hoop, it's over. Too strong to stop without foul. Joel Embiid at the line for two.
spots the first one, and that'll put him up two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. You must embrace the pressure and knock down critical free throws. Nicely done. And crazy fan, get a free T-shirt. Let's see, fan. All right, coming out to the court right now, it's your Sixers and team. Nine seconds left in the fourth. Ryan, a screen on Curry. Beal, the pass to Dinwiddie. Bertans for three. Oh, my! Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Excellent concentration. Understanding contact coming. Davis Bertans earns the trip to the charity strike. the first of three and that brings him within two here guys we know unequivocally those guys who have pure shooting form and can consistently knock down range shots are going to be rewarded Davis Bertans meets that criteria the second one drops and that narrows the gap to one. And so he's good on all three free throws. And that ties this game up. Well, in a game this tight, you can't overlook how important those free throws could be. Pass to Embiid. Count it! And the foul! And it's going to be on Thomas Bryant. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. To me, more often than not, when you attack, good things happen. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Joel and Boo. One shot. The Wizards on offense. 
They trail by three. Simmons against Dinwiddie. Pass to Beal. Bertans for three. Hauled in by Curry. Now here's Simmons. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. At the line for your Sixers, Ben Simmons. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that gives him a four-point cushion. You know Simmons has put up with a lot of criticism about his game. But give him credit. He's a talented player who just wants to get better. And he's unable to get the second one. Oh, and Bryant with the block. Out to Harris. Outside, Green. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. I can't believe that took so long. They needed to foul much sooner. 15 foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Ben Simmons taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that puts him up five. Second one is good, getting both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. Put a bow on this one. His composure at the line effectively ends it. Here's Beal. And another miss by Washington. So this one belongs to the 76ers. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Joel, congratulations. A quality win tonight. What enabled you to secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. The toughness showed and paid off. Thanks, Joel. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for...